What's up, bitches? It's no joke, Cal. We're coming at you live from Phnom Penh, Cambodia, yet again. Just something I want to show you real fast, just just real quickly. See, we got a KFC here, everybody. KFC. Oh, shit, I can zoom in. Nice. And let me zoom in here. You can probably see it. Yeah, there it is. The Burger King. Burger King. And Starbucks coffee. I hear through. I, I, I hear this through, uh, through the grapevine. Through the grapevine. God damn, if I could talk correctly today. Jesus. Um, must be must be all those Oreos I just had. I've, 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 I've got like a sugar buzz. I can't even fucking talk right. God damn. Um, anyways, Western imperialism is taking over, everybody. We're fucked. The world is fucked. Anyways, the point of this video is to talk about serious ass motherfuckers. Now... Some of y'all probably familiar with the stereotype of like the uh, I don't know like the like the super serious Asian dad, you know that you've probably seen the 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 meme online with like it, he's he's got like uh, it's, it's like it's like some Asian dude with like shaggy hair and glasses. He's like, oh you you karate master, why not karate PhD? Ha ha ha! It's funny, right? Well, got a lot of guys like that here in Cambodia. Now you, typically they're of Chinese descent. A lot of a lot of Chinese come out here. Uh, and they're usually paler skin. Well, they're all they're always paler skin because they're because they're mixed with Chinese and they, they have round heads because they're also Chinese. Now, just a disclaimer: as as a white man, as a white man, I have to I have to say, I don't have anything against the Chinese people. I would I'm everybody is is cool in my book. It's not the fact that you're Chinese; it's the fact that you act a certain way. And I cannot stand people who take themselves way too fucking seriously and life too seriously. I used to be that guy. I used to be the super serious uptight dude who always had to have a poker face, could never laugh in public, or always had to present himself as a super serious, intelligent businessman who's super serious all the fucking time. Yeah. Um, that's that's no way to live, guys. And you know, uh, I think that I think that people, like men and women, who who are who are super serious about themselves and don't know how to laugh and take a joke and don't have a sense of fucking humor. I think that that is a product of stupidity and ignorance and just overall just blindness. They're just they're just blind. I mean, I I think that people who who are so, sort of uh, uh, like awakened so to speak are people who realize that this existence is is temporary. Nothing nothing belongs to you. Everything here on this planet including yourself will will turn to dust. So why are you so serious and why do you treat people like shit who, who I guess don't have what you have? They're, they're, they're poor or, you know, they're, they're, they, they suffer from, uh, you know, from misfortune in life. So you treat them like a piece of shit just because you have a possession. I mean, what if, what if the roles were reversed? You know, what if, what if these motherfuckers who drive Lexuses and Range Rovers here in Phnom Penh, which by the way, Man, I don't know why the fuck anybody in this city would buy a car. You gotta be one dumb motherfucker, especially to buy a Lexus, man. Like, you're just gonna be, it's just gonna be gas break, gas break, gas break all fucking day. Uh, and you got these dudes, these like fucking old ass Chinese dudes just sitting, sitting in their car brain dead from the sheer boredom of traffic. Taking themselves way too damn seriously. Probably have very small penises. Yeah, I said it. Fuck yourself. And, uh, you know, I don't know, guys. I guess all I'm trying to say, because I don't want to ramble too much, but all I'm trying to say is, look, don't take yourself too seriously, all right? Learn how to laugh. Learn how to smile at other people. Learn learn how to take a fucking joke and just realize that this existence is temporary, okay? You're just going to pass on to something after this. And if you're an asshole to people and an asshole to yourself even, karma's going to get the best of you. It's not going to work in your favor, guys. Anyways, I hope I hope I made my point. Just 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 please be nice to people. You know, please please don't take yourself too seriously. Um, this is this is this is all an illusion, guys. This this this, this reality is just an illusion. Be be awake. Wake wake the fuck up and just and realize that. Okay. Uh, P.S. If you're planning on moving to Phnom Penh, watch out for anybody driving a Lexus, uh, a Range Rover, or any other like high-end vehicle because they have zero regard for human life zero regard for human life because 
they take themselves too fucking seriously, guys. Anyways, I'm No Joke Coward. Email me at nojokestriking at gmail.com if y'all have any comments, questions, concerns, or whatever. And one last thing that I want to plug, uh, I've got I've got a business here in Phnom Penh. I don't I don't even really want to call it a business. I I have a program. I have a uh, I have a thing. I got a thing going on. It's called Just Be. Just Be. Oh shit! It's about to rain. Shit. Uh, Just Be Cambodia. That's J U S B. Cambodia and basically basically what I'm doing is I'm just doing one-on-one -on -one personal training I specialize in losing weight boxing cardio conditioning uh, strength training shit like that body weight workouts guys um, I'm building up my client base and I've got a YouTube channel called just be Cambodia J U S B Cambodia and you don't need to live in Phnom Penh to have that channel benefit you because I because I routinely post workout tips nutrition tips anything like that and if you guys have any questions any questions about fitness nutrition health martial arts anything like that guys i have over eight years experience doing this type of shit email me jusb cambodia at gmail.com all right everybody it was a pleasure speaking to you hope everyone's having a nice day and remember guys don't take life too seriously this is all temporary don't be a dick life is short have fun Eat a fucking cookie. Enjoy yourself, everybody. Peace.